Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entry Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can apply sketch design on any kind of form. So it's very simple. So I'm going to delete the slides, and here we have this cube. Just go to the front view, and then go to the edit mode, add a center loop cut. After that, you need to scale this loop cut along the Z axis in this way, and then I'm going to select these edges, and then Control X to dissolve them. I will get this kind of form. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I will select this edges. And then Control B and add a bevel on these edges in this way. Then I will select these back faces and then move them along the Y axis in this way. Turn on your extreme mode and select these faces and move them in this way. We have got this kind of simple looking form. Now I want to create a cage design on this form. How I can do that? First thing, I will add some supportive loop cuts on this. So that's why I have selected this all edges and then Control B and then add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and increase the shape factor up to one. Okay. Then select these words, right click connect vertex path. Okay, now select these edge loops and then control B add a bevel in this way. Then you can hit the control to add the sub D modifier and you will get this kind of smooth mesh. Now I will add a cage design on it. So that's why I'm going to add a plane. Then you need to rotate this plane and then scale it in this way. Make sure its side should be bigger than the mesh. Then go to the edit mode and subdivide it. You can see I have subdivided this plane this much time. Then you need to press the right click and then poke faces. Then one more time right click and then tries to cards. Okay, in this way. Then you can press I for the insert operation and turn on that individual origin option at there and give the proper thickness at there. After that you can delete these faces. You will get this kind of cage. Then you can add the sub D modifier on it and you will get this kind of holes. Keep the level viewport to 1 and apply that sub D modifier. You will get pretty dense mesh add there. After that, you need to add a shrink wrap modifier on this cage and choose the target to this mesh. Now you can see we have wrapped that cage on the surface of this mesh. Now in the wrap method, you need to choose the project option and you need to choose the proper axis for the projection. Check this negative option and here you can see we have project that cage on this mesh in this way. Now I will apply this shrink wrap modifier at here and now I just need to delete some part of this cage. So just go to the side view and turn on this x-ray mode and select these faces and then delete them in this way. Select this bottom faces and then delete them. You can select this all spikes and then delete them. And you can see we have got this kind of cage at there. Then go to the side view, use the knife tool and create a straight cut like this. Then turn on the x-ray mode and select all those faces. Just follow that one straight cut. Then press X and then delete these faces. Then wherever it's possible, just merge the words like this. And then select everything and extrude them along their normal. Just add a little bit of thickness and you will get this kind of your cage then add a sub D modifier on it and see the results add there. Shear smooth it and we are getting this kind of decent looking results. Yeah, you are going to get some pinchings add there but it's a cage. In a real life also you get this kind of pinching so don't need to worry about it. If you want to hide this border, weird border then you can select this face loop and you can extrude it along its normal in this way. Then select this edge loop and then scale it along the y axis as y0. Select this edge loop and scale it along the y axis as y0. You can dissolve these edge loops and add a new edge loop adds there. And then add more supporty loop cuts on it. So you can use this kind of trick to model your asset and it's not so difficult. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.